everyone, it's Raquel of Raquel's Carbon Cuisine. And today's requested recipe is going to be this Jamaican ginger bulla. Yes. And if you like the flavors of ginger, you will definitely love this one. And this is like a, a bun. It's dense, sweet, hot with spices. Absolutely. So delicious. So for this bulla recipe, which is quite simple, you're going to need two bowls. One for the wet ingredients, one for the dry ingredients. Now I'm going to dissolve some sugar, and this is about a cup, a cup and a half. And this really depends on how sweet you want your bullas. Then I'm going to add a tablespoon of molasses, which not only gives it a color, but also flavor. Then I'm going to add some vanilla essence, also about a half a cup of water. Then I'm going to mix this until the sugar grains are nicely dissolved. Now for the dry ingredients, I'm going to add four cups of all-purpose flour half a teaspoon salt not too much salt two teaspoon baking powder and half a teaspoon baking soda and these are leveling agents you really don't want to add too much of that and for the spices one teaspoon cinnamon powder yes also one teaspoon freshly grated nutmeg and this recipe is simple but these bulla cakes are going to be so flavorful delicious i'm also going to add a two tablespoon room temperature butter or margarine and for the star, a quarter cup of freshly grated ginger. Yes. And even though I'm using fresh ginger, I'm also going to add two teaspoons ginger powder. Mm -hmm. I'm going to mix, integrating all the spices. Now in with my hands, distributing the butter evenly. Then I'm going to knead using the wet mixture we created. Adding a little at a time because we really may not need all. I'm going to knead this, say, for about two or three minutes until I've created a firm dough ball. Not too wet, not too sticky. And this texture is perfect. And I'm just going to allow this to sit just for about five minutes. Now to a clean dusted surface and you want to dust the surface to prevent sticking. Now I'm going to roll the dough out making sure it's nice and smooth. Not too thick though and not too thin. Oh, I am going to shape out some bullas and I'm using a bowl. Just use whatever you have that is round just to get some perfectly shaped bulla cakes. And this recipe yields 78 delicious bulla loaves. I'm going to place these on a baking tray lined with grease paper just to prevent sticking. And to a 350 degree preheated oven, I'm going to allow these to bake for about 20 to 25 minutes. 22 minutes later and oh my word, the whole kitchen smells so good. Nothing like the smell of freshly baked ginger bulla. I'm going to brush light with some butter and these are absolutely perfect. The texture is just amazing. Nostalgic memories. I grew up on bulla because these were distributed in schools across Jamaica with milk. And because of its sweet, flavorful taste, avocado is a favorite to go with it due to its savory taste. The combination, oh my goodness, tasty cheddar cheese is also a favorite combination. I want to thank you so very much for watching. A full written recipe will be listed down below in the description box. And remember, if you like this video, please do not leave without clicking the like button.